Let's move on to a topic I know I've been passionate about, and that is lack of transparency in medicine. It's something we've all had to deal with. I'm a doctor, I've seen bills and there's no transparency. I don't even know what I'm paying for, why I'm paying for it, when, what, what's going on here? I still, I still get bills from, so we're, we're, we're both patients and doctors. You all out there as patients, I'm sure often are confused. Well now, a new federal law requires hospitals to post the costs of services they're providing online. Question is, could this, yeah, I, I like transparency, but are there situations this could do more harm than good, but probably a step in the right direction. I do think it's difficult, and I definitely do wouldn't want to deter anybody from getting medical care, but what I like about it is your hospital puts the cost on the, the internet. Another hospital also puts the cost on the internet, so you can compare and contrast. And of course, you don't just want to take cost into consideration. You also want to look at the quality of the hospital and like their track record, but I think that's another, another piece of the puzzle, so I like that they're saying be transparent. I just wanna make sure they're doing it in a, a way that people can understand. So don't use all these fancy abbreviations and codes and things. Make it so that people can understand what they're getting and how much it's going to cost. And also make it known that patients can talk to a patient advocate so they can ask for modifications in the billing and the pricing if they need to. And this pricing may not be what you face because obviously insurance carriers all have different negotiations that go on with hospital. Drew, I wanna ask you this because you're in a profession that things have to be a little more transparent you know, if someone comes into you, well, and they most things have a... that I do are, are elective. So, right. in other words, that it's it's pre-planned and and all of the financial aspects are, are discussed in advance, and they know up front, and that that's just part of the part of the procedure. I mean, people's insurance coverage varies so much. For example, having a baby, having a baby now is very expensive. Mm -hmm. If you if you add in the hospital costs, how long you have to stay, and the pediatrician has to come in and and nursing medications, all that. I mean, you need to know up front, especially if you don't have good natal care as part of your, your insurance policy. So, here's where we're at. The lack of transparency in healthcare has caused a lot of things to happen. Number one, none of us understand what we're paying for, and that's all of us. Mm -hmm. Number two, we do have some of the worst healthcare outcomes in certain areas in the world for a developed country despite the highest cost. And, and why has this happened? Well, in my opinion, it's one thing, and that is a lack of transparency. If this is the first step towards more transparency, it's going to be a difficult few years as we all figure out for the first time ever in all of our lifetimes that we can actually shop around a little bit. Because right now, we just show up and we pray. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Please don't make this bill too big. We don't really know. And I'm saying this because that's the way we are too. We, we are in many ways as confused when we walk into a doctor's office or a hospital because we, this, this thing called healthcare, there is no one out there who fully understands it. So if we can start by just, if nothing more than listing these prices online, what you're going to start to see is some competition. Slowly but surely, and, and even insurance carriers, individuals, they're gonna be able to figure out a way, I think, where hopefully down the road, I can look online. Let's say I have to go have an elective gallbladder removal surgery, and I can look at the very hos various hospitals. I can look at their outcomes for this procedure, and I can say, well, you know what? This hospital, it's $500 less. They have a better success rate in terms of how quickly you're out of the hospital, so it's a lower cost, lower recovery time. Well, that's where I'm going. And then what's gonna happen is that hospital would theoretically reap the benefits of that. They'll, they'll get more, hopefully, more, more patients that And those that models are, are being developed, but there is some reluctancy just because of the way the system is, that they, that they don't want to create that free trade competition uh, atmosphere in medicine. So of course, and it, that's it, it needs to change, and I, I think we all agree this is a step in the right direction.